bad news for you. They packed the quarantine on us and... I hate to but I've got to close the show. Here's $145.25. Fight it out among you. Hop the first train, get yourself jobs. You know I'm sticking, Sarah. Why, of course we're sticking, aren't we? We're sticking, aren't we? Sure we are. Bet your life. Everything's going to work out all right. Ah, you'll get a break. We've been in tougher spots than this one, Sarah, and pulled through. And we'll do it again. Got something in my eye. Cloudburst, asthma, quarantines, X. With a gang like that, nothing can lick me. Hey, you better take care of this, Sarah. Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's a letter for you. Special delivery. Another bill, I suppose. Oh, could I get a couple Boy, of letters? Wait a minute. As if I ain't got enough already to drive me crazy. Now, I got a baby a coming. The fifth. Great Scott, that's tomorrow. Yeah, so you go meet her. Me? Certainly. You got a kid of your own, you know what to tell him. I don't. By the way, uh, Joe, how old is that youngster of yours? Oh, Helen's five now. I haven't seen her since she was three. It's your own fault. Well, you got to make a living. The wife don't like circus life. I don't blame her. Why don't you? I got to keep going, don't I? To give fellas like you jobs. What's your name, darling? Penelope. Penelope. That's a pretty long name for such a little girl. I'm gonna call you Penny. All right. My mama calls me her lucky Penny. Well, that's fine. Now you're gonna be our lucky Penny. You know, I've got a little girl like you. Where is she? <laughs> She's with her mama. Oh. My mama's gone away. And I'm afraid I'll never see her again. Ooh, ooh. Oh, now, <laughs> now, here, here, here. <laughs> now, you mustn't cry, darling. You mustn't cry like that. Oh, my goodness, you're going to see the tents and the, and the wagons and the elephant and the camels and the lion and the monkeys and the everything. <laughs> Say, how, how'd you like to take a ride on the camel? Hmm? No, I want to ride on the elephant. Oh, that's swell. Get up. into trouble. Gets everybody into trouble. And this is little Emily. How do you like her, huh? Little Emily. Yes, sir. Someday I'll give you a ride on her. Isn't that nice? <laughs> huh? See that? This is Penny, Emily. That's her mama over there, but I don't speak to her because she stepped on my foot one day. <laughs> <laughs> now here we got a lion here. Her name is Marigold. Hello, Marigold. But listen, I want to warn you. Don't try getting friendly with her, because she's the meanest critter in this circuit. Now, here we have old Nellie. She's just as gentle as the kind-faced old cow. How do you like the looks of her, huh? See, she wants you to give her something. Wait a minute. I'll fix that up. 
You just give her that. Hey, Aunt Ellie, don't be afraid of her. That's it. Ooh. Isn't that twelve? <laughs> <Huh? laughs> now we won't find your Aunt Sarah. <laughs> She's not your Aunt Sarah, darling. I wish I was your aunt, you sweet baby. Come on, we'll find it. Is that a bear? <laughs> no, that's your Aunt Sarah. <laughs> well, here we are. You had the good sense to look like your dad, anyway. Your goat, they'll rip you wide open. Yeah, but look. Shut up. You were scared. You know it and I know it. They ain't got no time for cowards. Now get on out. Gee, boss, can you make that cat behave? Why, Sarah, the way you kept that cat in front of you all the time, I had a submission. Of all the left footed, thumb handed clucks, I sure picked winners when I hired this bunch of cake eaters. The next fellow who ain't got nerve enough to handle them, I'll kick right off the lot. <laughs> and that goes for all of you. I don't care who you are, what you do. Good morning, Sarah. What's good about it? Now look, Sarah, I've been thinking. How about Wait a these? Minute. Now this time, let go. Ta da! <laughs> what are you trying to do? Break her neck? Oh, uh, you see, I was just. Shut trying up! To... What's the matter? Ain't you got anything to do? Come on, get out from underfoot and stop being a nose. I think in the sort of that young un, I'll kick right off the lot. Well, what do you expect to do with the child? 
Oh, I don't know. Put on a school, I reckon. You can't put her in a school, Sarah. Why, the kids are natural, strong muscles, beautiful, sound little body. Hope you don't think I'm gonna bring her up in this kind of a life. <laughs> there. I once knew a beautiful young girl who thought that the circus life was all right. Ha! Look at me now. Yes, and there was somebody else who thought the circus business was pretty good, too. Yeah. That's why I'm carrying on. I'm gonna put this show right back where it was in his day, or die a trying. You bet you are, Sarah. And we're all with you. Uh, blabbing about it ain't gonna do no good. I'm going to town and see what I can do about lifting this quarantine, so as we can give a show. Keep an eye on things, will you? You bet I will, Sarah. Now, Josephine, here, you throw the ball, and I'll hit it. Oh, no, that's too low. Josephine! Here, let's get to town. Matches. Here. <coughs> Look, see?
Well, there she goes. Nothing we can do about it. Harmon! Yeah. Keep on working on that boy. What do you want, what Sarah? What have you got to say for yourself? What? Well, for the love of Mike, you don't think I set fire to the outfit, do you? I told you to keep an eye on things, didn't I? What happened? Sarah, I swear... Oh, I swearing ain't gonna do no good. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Who was the dimwit who dropped the cigarette or match around that haystack? I did it. What are you talking about? Had some matches and they went off. You get right back into the wagon. I'll tend to you later. Sarah, you ain't gonna leak Penny, are you? Sarah, this is the greatest break we've ever had. Have you gone crazy? No. Do you realize that we've been paying insurance on this broken down outfit for years? Now it's our turn to collect. By gosh, Herman, you're right. And we can use the money to buy everything new. From the ground up, Sarah. Where's that darling baby? <laughs> Look. $5,000 house, I'll put in with you. Tonight alone. How about your brother? <laughs> we could lose the counter for one night. Hey, have you forgotten there's a show going on? You're beautiful. Thank you, sir. Put her there. Hey, come on, Joe, you're on. Mrs. Post, this is Mr. Davis of the Daily Record. Mr. Davis would like an interview regarding Miss Penny's new act. Well, I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Davis. Uh, come right along. I'll tell you all about it. I suppose you've seen all the acts that are, and everything there is about aerial work. Well, the 20 years I've been covering circus, I've seen it quite <laughs> Sarah, a... Sarah, you've seen absolutely nothing like what we're going to spring. Remember the flying act the uh, Ladona Trio used to do? Do I? Say, there'd never be another act like that one. Rubbish. 
My girl Penny's going to do the same thing, blindfolded. Ah, oh, you're kidding. <laughs> you be around when we spring the new act Monday night, and if I'm kidding, I'll give you the whole circus, luck, stock, and barrel. Why, no airless living can do that blindfolded. Maybe they can't, but my girl Penny's different. She's a genius, don't you forget it. All right, that's all. Splurge your head off, shoot the works. This is exclusive with you, so do your stuff, or it's the last favor you'll ever get from me. Thanks a lot. I told you I had a whale of a story for you, didn't I? A blindfold, it doesn't seem possible. Excuse me. Miss Penny, this is Mr. Davis. He's been given the exclusive scoop on your new act. How do you do? How do you do, Miss Penny? Is it true that you're going to do your entire routine blindfolded? Why, yes. You see, it isn't very difficult. The moves are the same, but we work by sense of time. Penny, come here. Oh, by the way, there's a sideshow angle you may be able to use. Come on. Here and read. They're marvelous. Since when have you been giving information to the press? I was only explaining. I'll do all the explaining around here. But he asked me a question. Yeah, and you were making the greatest stunt ever planned look easy. You stick to your act. Let me do all the talking. How do you like my new costume for the act? Isn't it pretty? It's awful. Well, what's the matter with it? Well, for one thing, there's too much black. How can they see you way up in the tent in that? Oh, please, Aunt Sarah, let me have it. Since you made me bleach my hair, I look better in black. I said I want all white and that settles it. Go take it off and get what I told you. What's the matter, Penny? Oh, she didn't like it. It's got to be all white. Well, you're very beautiful in white. I'd like to wear something different, just once. How's her mood, bad? No worse than usual. Well, then we better go in before anything happens. Make it worse, come on. Don't make it fast. What is it? About our contract. What contract? Well, we thought that, as you said, that when we put on the new act, there would be a different arrangement. Yeah, about the money. And the billing. It was to be the three flying pennies. Instead of just the flying penny supported by it. What new act? I haven't seen any new act yet. Why, the blindfold act. It's rehearsing it for weeks. Maybe I have. But how do I know it'll go over with the public? Just to show you I've got a little sporting blood in me, I'll take a chance. Had it drawn up today, 25% more money and second billing. This replaces your present contract, signed here. Do you mind if I read it? It's word for word like your old contract. Do you want it or don't you? Well, in that case, no objections. That's fine. I'll sign it after the first performance. And we see how it goes. Anything else on your mind? No, 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 thank you. That's enough for one day. <laughs> Come on, Pablo. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. How was she? How was her mood? Huh? Oh, oh, great, great, happy as a lock. Gave us everything we asked for, <laughs> uh, didn't she, Pablo? Yes, yes, we were in great luck to be able to talk business her while she was feeling so good. Gee, that's fine. I got the latest thing in posters to show her. Cost plenty, but they're worth it. Say, she'll go for this place. Uh... Come in. Oh, so you! What's the idea of this bill for lithographing? Three hundred dollars. What for? Well, you see, I was trying out some new ideas. And color work runs into money, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Now, this is the very newest, the very finest, the positively best work that money can buy. Look. What's that? That? Well, that's Penny doing her act. It's brand new. Futurist. It's terrific. It smells. Take that thing away. And if you ever show up with anything like that again, I'll kick you right off the lot. McCarthy. Yes, sir? I want these pictures to be a penny. Just penny alone, understand? And pretty. Real pretty. Just the way she looks. That'll be all. Yes, sir?
All right, Juba. Here, here's one for you. And there's one for Miller. <laughs> <laughs> you know that elephant sure has got a sweet tuck. Well, you be sure that Nellie gets it. Uh, yeah, you need to be scared about that. Uh, I'll be lucky if I get any. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Any happy returns of the day? Oh, that's. Oh, look at that. Oh, Aunt Sarah, look. Congratulations, Penny. Oh. Penny can't keep these things. Oh, Aunt Sarah, please. Be quiet, Penny. We make it a rule here that no presents cost more than a dollar. Why, uh, I'm very sorry. We didn't know. You ought to have more sense anyhow. Anyway, I want you both to understand this is strictly a business proposition. And I don't want any more nonsense. Understand? Quite. Yes, of course. Uh, may I? You and Ricardo haven't had any of my birthday cake. I'm sorry about the way Aunt Sarah behaved. About the presents, I mean. But you mustn't mind Pablo. She's always been like that. I don't mind. She's making you unhappy. That makes you unhappy makes me miserable. There's nothing we can do about it. Well, are you so sure of that? There's no way of changing Aunt Sarah. I ought to know after 15 years. But you're not going to be with your Aunt Sarah all of your life. Someday you'll not. Why? Well, she's always said, once the circus gets into your blood... It doesn't have to be true. Well, this is all the life I've ever known. There's another life that I would like to show you. One that's full of laughter and good times. Friends and time to enjoy them. Not a grind of one long season living in a tent, but decent engagements, like in the theater. And you, Penny. You, the toast of the continent. From London and Paris to Rome and Berlin. You'd wear beautiful things. You... Oh, Penny. You can't stay in this slavery much longer. It's too criminal. You must break away. Be free to enjoy the things that are rightfully yours while you're young. Oh, it's all wonderful to think about, but... Oh, it could never really happen. Why not? She'd never let me go. Now, there's one thing I want to teach you. Forget Aunt Sarah. That's your first lesson. Be sure you learn it. All right, I'll try. Forget Aunt Sarah. If you please. Come on, Sarah. They're getting ready for the big stunt. Uh, uh, this can wait. Uh, McCarthy, my coat. Yes, sir. The world's greatest aerialists presenting the free flying pennies. I love you. Remember the first day she came into the top and thought you was a bear? <laughs> Remember when she burned down the whole outfit and you couldn't lick her? <laughs> yeah, and now nobody can lick her.
gentlemen, you are about to witness the most death-defying leap ever attempted by an aerialist. Miss Penny will now attempt all right. a two-and-a-half forward somersault blindfolded without a net. Watch her closely. You know I don't love that kind of nonsense. But I am in love with Penny. I wish to marry her. You're fired. Get out, right now. I shall leave also with my brother. You're not the only heiress in the world. Get out the lot, both of you. Pablo! What happened? Well, Ricardo and I were discharged. Oh, I was afraid she'd do it. Oh, Pablo. Penny, do you love me? I love you, Pablo. Then that's all that matters. Goodbye for just a little while, dearest, and don't you worry. We'll be happy very soon. Back again, huh? Someone who has just ruined everything. You're in devilish high spirits. Uh, nothing is ruined, Ricardo. We can join another circus. Oh, but I'm sorry you're angry. Sorry? What good does that do? Oh, but this is different, Ricardo. I love Penny. And she loves me. Ricky. I didn't realize. You love her too, don't you? This is an awful mess. They've trained me, taught me everything I know. Kept me out of scrapes, and this is how I pay you back. Listen, Pablo. Nothing has ever come between us, and nothing ever will. If Penny must love someone else, I'm glad it's you. I wish you both all the happiness in the world. Aunt Sarah. What? I want to talk to you. If it's about that boy, I won't listen. Aunt Sarah, please, you've got to. I love Pablo. Nonsense. You've got a career ahead of you. That's all that matters. No, it isn't. I've always wanted someone to love me and someone to have fun with and laugh with, like I do with him. Oh, Aunt Sarah, please don't. I told you I won't listen, and I won't. That boy goes. 
Then I go too, Aunt Sarah. I'm sorry. You'll go to your tent and stay there. That's what you'll do. Now, wait a minute. I have something to say. All my life, I've given up every beautiful thing, beginning with my pink silk dress when I first came to you. And instead of the fun and affection that other girls have, I've had nothing but hard work and hard words. And now when I find love and happiness, you want to destroy it. Well, I won't let you. If Pablo goes, I go. Go to your dressing tent. Aunt Sarah, I'm old enough to know what I want. I love Pablo, and I'll marry him. Kids are gone, Sarah. I just said goodbye to Penny. Well, that's that. She made her own choice. Well, you can't blame her, was she? What? After all I've done? Given her everything? Yeah. Everything but affection. Don't ever mention her name to me again. Now get out, Joe, and leave me alone. Not in here. Oh, who cares? <laughs> oh, Ricardo, you should have come with us. We've had the most wonderful day. And a very successful one. Greetings from Coney Island. <laughs> <laughs> we both went up in the Ferris wheel and we were scared to death. That's a fact, Ricky. We trembled with terror. Ah, <laughs> daring, death-defying pennies, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Any news? Uh -huh. Good news. This is marvelous. Look, darling. Now we can be married just before sailing and spend our honeymoon on board ship. Tears? Honey, dear, what's the matter? Post circuit, nose dives plenty. Road off fold unless biz perks. Well, now, let me see what that means. Well, it means that unless Aunt Sarah gets a headline attraction, the show will have to play only small towns or close. Penny, dear. I thought we were going to be happy. Oh, it isn't that, Pablo, but I never should have left her. Penny, it wasn't your fault. You tried to make her understand. Of course you did, darling. She's lived her life, now we have to live ours. Pablo is right, Penny. No one has the right to interfere. In another's happiness. Come now, no more tears. You must make yourself very beautiful. Because we are going to dine and dance and be very gay. Don't be long, please. I'll hurry, Pablo. Again, eh, Ricardo? I'm not so sure it would be good for me to work anywhere just now. What are you talking about? Well, I'm tired. I'm nervous. I need a rest. You're not serious. Well, of course I am. But that's a crazy idea, Ricky. We've got a great act. We can't split now. Well, it won't be difficult to replace me. I won't even consider it. Trust Penny's life to a new man? It's out of the question. You're right, of course. But I wish it were possible. Well, now that that's settled, where are we dine tonight to cheer Penny up, huh? No, don't count on me tonight. You're not going with us? Well, I've been in the apartment all day waiting for the cable. I, I need some fresh air. I want to stretch my legs a bit. 
I'll see you later. Uh, we've been thinking things over, Sarah, and... Uh, well? Well, we, we thought we'd like to have a little talk with you. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Well, Sarah, you know as well as I do that any circus is going to fold without a feature act. Nothing of the kind. No one act's going to break my show. Besides, we've been playing packed houses, ain't we? Oh, so far we have, yes. But the show isn't clicking, Sarah. It's flatter than a pancake. That's right. But people come in, expect to see something great. And what do they see? Just another circus. Okay, we'll get another act. Mac. Yes, sir? Get busy on that. Oh, we could replace the boys, sure. But look, Sarah, Penny's the greatest aerialist in the world. You made her. And now you're going to let some other outfit grab her. And we're the losers. That's right. Why don't you get the kids back? We need Penny. We can't get along without her. She made her choice. Oh, no, she didn't. She fell in love. That's only natural, isn't it? She had a career. And love don't mix with a career. Now, wait a minute. You had a career, and you fell in love. Shut up, Joe. Now, you've all had your say. Go along, mind your own business, and I'll tend to mine. Pablo? Pablo? Coming here. Beautiful. Oh, you look so lovely that tonight we must go to some magnificent place. Pablo? Huh? I think we should go back to the circus. No, no. You're going to have fun. Laugh. Forget that there is such a thing as a circus. Come along. Where's your brother? Oh, he went for a walk. He didn't want to come with us. Mister, wake up. Say, it don't take much to knock you out, does it? Bring me another drink. Oh, you've had enough. You'd better go home. I said, bring me another drink. Yes. Now take this. Take that stuff away. But don't you want to get well? I said, take it away. Now, Mrs. Post, how can we help you if you won't assist us? Sarah, come on, please take your medicine. I won't. I said I won't, and I will not. Oh, Sarah. Uh, what, what did the doctor say, Joe? Doc can't do a thing with her. I'm going after Penny. Ready? Uh-huh. All right, let it go. Oh. oh. <laughs> this ring is too long for the trick in here. That's too bad. Well, I'll try this to limber up. <laughs> What's troubling you, Ricardo? Oh, just a slight headache. I guess I'll call it a day, if you don't mind. All right. Is he ill? I don't think so. But I'm glad we're sailing tomorrow. Tomorrow. That's our wedding day. Hello, Penny. Joe Sherman. <laughs> Good to see you, Dom. Joe. How are you? Well, glad to see you, Bevel. Joe, is Aunt Sarah all right? Well, she's pretty sick now. Oh. It's not serious. Man, I'm afraid it is. Doc says it's a heart attack. 
But it's worse than that, honey. Her heart is dead. Oh, Joe, it's all my now, fault. I know it isn't, no, it isn't. But she kind of needs you now. The doc can't do anything with her, and she, she won't even take her medicine. Well, she just don't seem to care, that's all. Pablo, we must go to her right away. Of course, honey. Think you're smart, don't you? What do you uh, think? I think you better quit wasting your time in here and get ready for the show. What do you mean? Just what I say. But Aunt Sarah. Quit arguing and get along with you. And you better be good because I'm going to be there. Uh, uh, tell McCarthy to come here. And I want Herman right away. Oh, all right, Aunt Sarah. All right. She shouldn't excite herself like this. No use trying to stop her. Maybe it'll do her good. Herman, Aunt Sarah wants you and Mr. McCarthy right away. Come on, Mac. Well, what is it, Sarah? Herman, the flying pennies will have the regular spot on the bill tonight. Great stuff, Sarah. Mac? You've got to give this the biggest send-off you know how. Cover all the newspapers. Get it on the air. Pull everything you've got. Yes, sir. Step on it now and get me results. Or I'll kick you both right off the lot. We'll put this over for you, Sarah. You bet we will. I'll say we will. Come on, Mac. Let's get rolling. Boy, oh boy, this is swell. Penny, I just heard the good news. Well, you're back and everything's all straightened out and we're all set to go again, eh? But just a minute. I don't think you understand. We're giving a show tonight, but tomorrow we're sailing for London. Pablo, that's what I wanted to tell you. I'm not sailing. Penny, you, you can't mean that. Oh, I'm sorry, but Aunt Sarah needs me. But if you want to go alone, after all, it won't be forever. Do you think I'd go without you? No. Anything you want to do is all right with me. Why, that's right. Oh, oh, oh boy, boy that's, that's right, great. Right, right. Now, look. Mac's going to shoot the works on the biggest publicity splurge this town has ever seen. Anything I can do to help? Can I go to the hotel and get your stuff and things? Oh, no, thanks. I'll do that myself, Herman. Besides, I've got to go out and find my brother. Ah. Bye-bye, Donnie. Bye. Penny. Ricardo, you got the message. Pablo's looked all over town for you, and he's just gone to call again. Well, what is it all about? We're going on tonight. We can't do that. We've accepted another offer. Oh, well, I'll explain later. Hurry now and dress. We're on in ten minutes. I can't give a performance tonight. Well, why can't you? Well, I just can't. That's all there is to it. But, Ricky, we have to. It's been advertised in the papers and on the radio. Well, even so, it's impossible. Impossible? I've been drinking, Penny. Oh, Ricky, uh -huh. why? You wouldn't understand. Oh, but you're all right. I'm not all right. I'm shaking. My head is splitting. I can't think straight. I... Oh, cold water will fix you up. Come on. Put your head there. Better? Penny, I can't go on tonight, I tell you. But I've made a promise for Aunt Sarah, and she's ill. We've got to go through with it. Oh, Ricky, won't you do it for me? I'll do my best, Penny. You want to see the act, get yourself a seat. Are you sure you can get along without me? I've been getting along for 60 years. I guess I can manage. Go along. Well, the kid's back again. Kind of seems like old times, doesn't it? Well, I ain't going to stand for any more of that romantic nonsense from that young man, either. Oh, well, now, wait a minute, Sarah. 
know the kids had a deal on in London. They were to sail tomorrow. Well, so what? Well, don't you think they gave up a lot for you, that you should give up a little bit for them? Oh, huh? come along and stop acting like an old woman. Gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present to you the crowning feature of this circus performance. Introducing to you the world's greatest aerialists, the three flying pennies. Almost missed you. Steady, only two more. Don't swing to me again. Let over Carter. Oh, nothing. He's all right. I can't do it. You must. Ladies and gentlemen, calling your attention to the dome of the canvas where you are about to witness the most thrilling, the most death-defying leap ever attempted by an aerialist. Miss Penny will now attempt a two-and-a-half forward somersault blindfolded without a net. Watch her closely. Wait to me again. has a chance, but it's going to take a mighty long stretch in the hospital. Pull him through, Doc, or I'll kick you off the lock. I'll do my best. I had to fall for her. I would have missed her. Well, what are you all standing around for? We're giving her a show, ain't we? Clear out. All, all right, right, boys, here we go. Up for nothing. Let's go, boys, now. Don't worry, darling. He's going to be all right. I'll phone you from the hospital. You can lick lions and tigers and elephants. 
but you can't do nothing about love, can you?